Now, with the new availability of vaccines, the World Health Organization is warning it's no time for complacency. Global COVID cases are rising for the first time in seven weeks, largely because of the variants. The director general says new variants are to blame, along with a relaxed public health measures, exactly what we were talking about with Jeff Zeleny. The director said if countries rely solely on vaccines, they're making a mistake. Jeff Martha is the chairman and CEO of Medtronics, the largest standalone medical device company in the world. It is an interesting, with this complacency that is starting to come in, I, I, I don't. I hesitate to say it, but the thought the officials can say as often as they like, we must be vigilant. People aren't listening. Thank you for having me on the show. Big fan of the show. Um, um, yeah, look, I agree. Now's not the time to uh, at all to be complacent or let down guard because the vaccine's just around the corner. But there's still there's still issues out there that we that we really need to be careful about. I was looking at the, 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 the standalone devices and the non the non COVID medical cases and more and more hospitals are now saying, no, we must give priority to these non medical to these non COVID cases, because if we don't, we're storing up even bigger problems in the future. Now, this hits to your company, doesn't it? Absolutely. Look, the, you know, we've actually partnered with uh, many uh, hospitals and physician groups around the world to uh, do public service announcements to get the word out. We, one we worked on with the American Heart Association called Don't Die of Doubt. You know, when you're feeling these symptoms, you really got to go into the hospital. And I can tell you this, hospitals over the last uh, year have really worked to innovate the way they, they practice medicine in order to safely care for uh, uh, these COVID patients and the non-COVID cases patients, and to continue to conduct what they call elective procedures, which, Richard, I think you can agree, some of these aren't so elective, like a stroke or a heart attack or something like that. The way in which you have adapted your company as a result of, uh, the, uh, of the pandemic, I mean, you, the, the devices that you provide the way in which they are inserted or used and the way in which patients maintain and use them. Has COVID made a big difference? Uh, look, absolutely. I mean, I'll give you two examples. One, um, well, COVID's really, you know, focused uh, us and opened our aperture uh, as to what's possible. So rewind the tape back to the spring time frame uh, of 2020, April and May, you know, ventilators were in, in very short supply and high demand. And and physicians were asking for orders of magnitude and government officials, orders of magnitude more ventilators than were out there. Med Medtronic's responsible for about uh, a little over a fourth of the world's uh, share of uh, critical care ventilators. And we had to increase our production. We were able to increase our production by over five fold in a very short period of time and increase the capabilities that uh, healthcare workers were asking for in a short period of time because of, of partnerships. So I heard you talking earlier about uh, in the partnerships in the pharmaceutical area about creating, you know, um, uh, producing more vaccine. In the med tech space, we had similar type of partnerships. But Medtronic, we actually partnered with some, I think, unusual bedfellows for us. Uh, SpaceX and Elon Musk uh, helped us with ventilators, Intel. Uh, so I think that's a, a big one. We actually open sourced our ventilators out there to the technical community, to everybody, really, to see if we could, you know, attract new partners to overcome some of the barriers. So that's right, one how, way that we. Can how do you capture? It. How do you capture and bottle that spirit? Because I do worry that a year from now, everybody is maybe not fully back in their old silos, but that 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 the mentalities will, you know, syphilis, it'll just drop back to where it was. Look, that's a great question. I know, you know, myself, our leadership team, our board of directors. That's something we're very focused on is, is we don't want to go back to the way it was. Do we want COVID to go away? Absolutely. It's been, it's been terrible for, for so many reasons. But we've learned such valuable lessons. And to go back to the way things operated before would be, you know, would be a crime. I mean, we're, you know, with this level of focus, with these type of partnerships, and just seeing the world a bit differently, we've been able to innovate uh, at much faster pace and much you know, broader scale. So it's something that I agree it's going to be difficult to avoid that, but it's something that we're, we're really focused on.
The idea of ESGs and ESG initiatives and the whole scoring following on from the Bank of America, Brian Moynihan initiatives. Um, th there's an argument that says, yes, very important, but it's more important that we focus on the pandemic. I'm guessing some will tell me it's not an either or, you've got to do both. But the, re the reality is, can you do ESGs at a time of crisis? Well, look, I, one thing that we've been talking about inside Medtronic is, is 2020 taught me the power of and. You know, you could do one thing and another and kind of throw out the word or and, and, and really focus on the word and. And this is one area. You know, for us, we talked about how important innovation is, technology and clinical innovation to improving health outcomes, including uh, for COVID patients, but for many other conditions that, that, that we're involved in. But to, to people, innovation is still a people game. Right? It relies on people to drive this innovation, and we need to attract the best people. And today, the, the best people uh, want to work for companies that stand for something, stand for something beyond just making a profit, stand for, uh, take a stand on social issues, or whether it be climate or inclusion, diversity, and equity. Uh, companies can't be silent on this anymore, or you're not going to attract the best people. So it's, it's the right thing to do for our society, but it's also good business. Uh, we'll have you back. Jeff, we'll have you All back, because right, what, what you're talking about, of course, is the stakeholder economy, which we take a great interest in uh, here on Crestview's Business. We'll talk about that as the year moves on. I appreciate your time tonight, sir. Thank you. Well, thank you, Richard.